afternoon. We'll start off today with a, a public service announcement. If you've been watching the channel for a while, you may know. Firstly, my name is Martin. This bathroom is in the northeast of Scotland. I'm English and I like Wickham soaps. Recently, Darren, Darren Barnes, the proprietor at Wickham, announced that Citrus Musk has been discontinued. So if you like citrus, the Citrus Musk scent, which I do personally, 1912 Citrus Musk has been discontinued. Obviously retailers still have stock, but once they're, when they're gone, they're gone. And Darren's also discontinuing Infio Higuera, which is the Spanish fig scent. This has also been discontinued as of the end of, the, end of November. So again, retailers will still have stock, but if you like the scent, I would advise you to uh, stock up now. So what are we using today? Wickham's, surprisingly enough. I'm using the limited edition 2019 Wickham's Gothic Revival. This is still 1912 base. I've checked it. The ingredients are exactly the same as the 1912 soaps I've just shown. There's the soap, as you can see. It's brand new. Pull the paper off. There's the soap in the tub there. If you haven't seen Wickham ingredients before, they're there. Pause the video and have a read. So it's a vegetable based soap and the top notes on it are blackcurrant, caraway and honey with jasmine as a heart note and the base notes are oak moss, sandalwood and pepper. Think of it as being akin to Trumper's Eucharist. That's what it's based on, very similar to in scent. This was a limited edition buy, unfortunately the soap has sold out. But it will be returning next year as next autumn's scent. There's also a matching balm to, to go with it, which I got I got. And as I live in the UK, I was also able to get the matching aftershave. Uh, Darren couldn't ship these overseas because of alcohol content. So that's what we're using today. The brush is last year's limited edition. As part of the group bag this year there was another out for shaving brush, different style handle. I didn't buy that. There was also razor cases and everything else which I've already got. So I'm using last year's limited edition Alpha Outlaw. See it's got the Wickham, Wickham coin at the bottom this one. This is the silver tip. Uh, which has been soaking for a good while. Razor. As it's gothic and it's black, I'm going with a Javette adjustable. A fat boy. This one's 1961. I believe, yeah, G code. G2, yeah, G2. I think it's 1961. Unlike the fat guy which looks a bit shanky in my opinion. Haven't seen a few videos of it and doors being misaligned and everything else. I'll stick with my fat boy. So crack it open. Start on number seven. And in there I'm going to shove a French Nassier stainless, which is in its second shave. I just haven't put the red dot in the other corner yet. So that's what you're using today. How's your weekend going? It's been bright but chilly here in the northeast of Scotland. So there's the blade loaded up. He says opening the doors up fully. That's it closed and quarter turn. That's it, we're done. Get some heat in that. 
get the brush out. So this is holds a fair bit of water, this brush, so half a dozen shakes or so and we'll just smell nice. I was gonna copy and paste the uh, down in the description of the site. It goes on about Gothic Revival, Victorian gas lamps and working men and well don't need the bullshit. It's a Wiccan so it, it's I haven't smelt Eucharist so I can't compare it directly but from people that have say so it's very very similar. Unlike the Eucharist soap from Trumpers, you can actually lather this stuff because it's Wickham's. So we've got a pretty good load there, and I'll pull out the tubs. Yeah, so if you want this scent, it's sold out in less than a week. Uh, direct from Darren, it's the only place it was available from was from the Wickham site. And, uh, Wait till once next year, it'll be back available again. Darren, if you're watching, bring back Apricus to the main line, please, as an add on. Apricus was last year's group buy, which was also a stunning scent. For a fact, I've overloaded, but hey, so yeah, it's been a nice weekend. There, it's been you saw, I don't know if you've seen a video Kevin posted yesterday, a stream. From the beach. Oh well, Kevy's about two hours south of me. And uh, our weather conditions were virtually identical. It's been two degrees Celsius, so about Fahrenheit, don't have 32, about 30, 38, 37 degrees. Simple calculation for you there, if you want to convert centigrade to Fahrenheit roughly. Double it and add 32. Or vice versa, half it and take off 32. But there's been no wind, which is quite nice. It's been really nice, crisp, chilly, refreshing days. Played golf both days. Winter, we just play 14 holes competitive golf in a stable for format. Yesterday I scored 30 points, so I was two into par. Didn't really think I played that well, but I was happy enough with the result. Today I scored 33 points, because obviously 14 holes, stable for any golfers there. Level par is 28 points. Two points a hole, and today we went up level par. And we came back five under, so I was more than happy. I'm glad the bogey coming back as well. I'm still five under par. Yeah, so I was, it was supposed to be almost a birdie hole. By six of the seven holes were birdies. One bogey, one par. That's been my weekend really.
This little tip is really, really soft, this one. The rough's probably a bit high on it. Well, that'll do. It's pretty well hydrated. So, Gillette adjustable with the Gillette Nasse on setting 7. Wickham's Gothic Revival. scent is really nice, must admit. And as far as the soap goes, I stumbled across Wickham's quite early on in my wet, sha wet shaving journey. I think if you include this one in the collection, I think there's 14 of them, which I've got. You could say I'm quite partial to a Wickham soap. That one is very good with his scents. He's blending and he's essential oils. Just thought that weep took a little bit there, weep. Yeah, the last few weeks there's been loads of videos with the is it the Fat Guy Razor from Global Shave Club? Looks shanky as hell. Buying one? No. The engine version of the Rex Ambassador, which has a few problems to say the least. Buying one? No. Here we go, first pass done. Right, I'm going to drop down to setting five. So if you haven't seen a Gillette adjustable before, loosen the doors off, turn the knob down to number five, or the dial, and then tighten the doors back up. Brush is eating me soap. Oh yeah, and England beat Wales yesterday in rugby. I forgot to mention that earlier. Another reason for a good weekend. For any of the Welsh lads watching, Flash, Gareth, it wasn't the greatest game in the world. Now the side played well, but you got beat. Never mind.
Even my good lady likes the scent on this soap, and there are some soaps. One I used a few weeks ago, shaves ago, spearhead shaving. She wasn't a big fan of that one. She didn't really like Southern Witchcraft's Carpathia, or Carpathia, that I used a few weeks ago. I quite like both of those scents. So Christmas, four weeks away, or less than. Have you got your orders in yet? With your friends and family, or your family? Tell them what you, you what you would like. Drop a few suggestions. It's a real disappointment. The trick is to uh, buy it yourself, give them it to wrap, and get the money back off them. That way you don't end up getting fifteen pairs of socks. The tub shaving, tub shaving cream that you never use. So yeah, performance-wise, the soap no issues whatsoever. It is your typical. 1912 performance I'm going to stay on setting 5 and see if the brush hasn't eaten all the lava again Silver tips are sort of generally soft, but this thing's floppy. Even tests okay. Not that I, in any way, shape or form, endorse the tasting of shaving soap. However, it tastes alright. Yeah, Black Friday, I've had all the sales, haven't bought anything, been quite good. I'm not shaving with it anywhere. I've got a few bits and pieces for the house. We got a new TV a few weeks ago for the bedroom. Was the old one was knackered. And uh, the stand was almost actually wider than the piece of furniture that the TV was on. So. <clears throat> bought a, a third party stand from Amazon. Once you decipher deciphered all the little pictures because there was no written instructions. The parts were numbered was it eight A to A to V and one to nine. And each one each part was in its own separate little little bag. And there's just little drawings of what went where. That was a fun packed half hour. But 
you went to go there. Without any issues. And uh, it looks really it looks a lot better than it's now got a swivel function as opposed to having the TV sitting at an angle. When my good lady's watching something and I want to watch something else or vice versa. Which generally revolves around sport. Okay. There's the soap out of the brush. Give me give me my soap back. So that's per my normal routine, except for the stuff in the base of the knot. I'm gonna have a face wash with this. My cold water's a bit chilly. Okay next. You know what I'm using, so is it balm first or aftershave first? I mix and match, I vary. Neither of these have been opened. I'm going to go for the aftershave to close everything off, and then I'm going to go for the balm to put the moisture back into the skin once it's made me go. Ooh! Not too bad. There's a bit of alcohol in there, but also by dousing it in your hand first, it allows some of the alcohol to evaporate. It's the same with aftershaves and all the toilets and all the perfumes. You don't want the the burn spray in your hand instead of spraying on your face. Just leave it five seconds and then apply it, and you'll find that uh, you don't end up. Sing like a soprano. So a Gothic Revival shaving balm. Terence balms in it. There we go. One squirt on the hand. Hope you can see you there. There we go, enjoyed that. That was a crack and shave, in my opinion. So, a quick recap. Oh, recap, even. These two soaps citrus musk and Ninefeo Agrera. They've both been discontinued from the Wickham's line. If you like them, you haven't got stock. Retailers will still have stock, but they're no longer being produced or sold by Wickham's. So, what do you use today? We have a Gothic revival of Wickham's 1912 soap, aftershave, and balm. And we paired that up with. An Alpha Alpha Shaving Outlaw 28 mil, yeah, it's silver tip, uh, which is from the last Wickham group by, hence the Wickham coin at the bottom. Uh, nice brush, just it is floppy for a silver tip. I reckon you could lose a couple of mils of loft off that, and it would work probably a bit more effectively. The razor was, still is. Gillette adjustable 1963 fat boy inside which there was a, a French Gillette Nassé stainless. These are some new old stock ones I managed to acquire. That's it, folks. Uh, if you have any comments, leave them below, especially regarding aftershaves and balms, which sequence to use them in and why. Interested here. Everybody has the one take on things. Sometimes I'll put a balm on first and then an uh, aftershave 
after five ten minutes it varies it depends what mood I'm in I don't have a fixed a fixed format for that uh, we'll see in the next shave whenever that'll be but uh, I'll try and keep things a bit more frequent than they've been recently uh, thanks for watching bye for now